fell out to the emergency room last month. I got a concussion. It was really bad. I, uh, I got a concussion because I jumped out of the second story window during a robbery. It was wild. It was really, it was a real fight or flight, and I took flight. And <laughs> what happened, this is really what happened. It was the first time I ever really had it. This is a real, like, my first, like, life-threatening moment that happened to me. I was, uh, I was visiting my friend one night in Atlanta, and, you know, it's midnight. I've never been there before. He was downstairs. I was upstairs, and I just hear, get on the ground. And I was like, that's a voice I can't beat up. Then I heard, don't move or I'll shoot. And I was like, all right, we're being robbed. They're gonna kill my friend. I don't have my phone. I gotta jump out of the window. I'll jump out, I'll go get the police. So I opened this window, it's 30 feet down. And I was like, I did parkour when I was 11. I got this. So I get to the back of the room. I take a breath and I start running. And I felt brave. I was like, I'm a hero. I'm a man. Everything was in slow motion. And I heard the robbers say, there's somebody upstairs. And out loud, I went, there was. And I jumped out the window. But midair, I got scared. And I'm not proud of this, but I did flap my arms to fly away. I mean, you miss every shot you don't take. I was like, maybe! Which, by the way, imagine that worked. <laughs> like, I actually flew, and I'm like, I can fly? I hear a voice from the clouds. You could always fly, Charles. You just had to believe. I didn't fly. I landed on my head. But uh, adrenaline helped out, dude. Adrenaline's great. It's like a secret drug your body uses in emergencies. My body was like, he's hurt. Release the heroin. Also, five drops of fear pee. I did pee on impact. <laughs> But I, you know, so I get up, I'm bleeding out of my head, I got no shirt, I'm just cut up everywhere. And I start running down the street, I'm pounding on these doors to get help. But now everybody has cameras on their doorbells that go to their phone. So everybody at home was just like, ew. <laughs> hey, who's at the door? It's a zombie, don't answer. It's definitely nobody in need. So I see this truck backing out of the driveway, and then I run up to this truck, it's like an older black couple, and I go, we're being robbed! And the lady in the truck goes, what are you doing in this neighborhood, white boy? And I was like, ah, this is the first time being white it hasn't helped me in a situation. And I was like, you gotta help, they got my friend, they're gonna kill him, and I swear to God, they go, is your friend white, or is he black? And I was like, he's black, and they go, we'll help. <laughs> I was like, what? What if he was white? They drive off, I bleed out, like, my privilege failed me. <laughs> All lives, okay. <laughs> uh. So, <laughs> uh. so they help me, right? They put me on the porch, you know, they're sitting me down, I'm crying, I'm bleeding, and they're calling the police. And then we see my friend, and he runs into their yard, and he goes, stop, it's a prank. And I'm like, what? And he goes, do you remember last week you stole my phone and you filmed me freaking out? I'm pranking you back. And I was like, oh, you don't know what a prank is. This is a crime. And I'm better now we don't talk, but I'm better. I hope I never get robbed again. I'll just think it's a joke. Like I'm at the bank, people break in, like get on the ground. And I'm like, yeah, what do you think? I was born yesterday. I get shot. I'm like, this is hilarious. How'd you make this feel like a real bullet? I, um, so 